guinea pig. Uh, she's back from the vets. Um, we're not really sure what the outcome's going to be. It actually seems now that she's done some sort of damage to her, her spine, which basically um, has made her paralysed, her front legs and her back legs. But also it affected the fact that she couldn't actually have a pee, passing a urine. So this is why she developed liver and kidney problems, because quite simply she couldn't pass in a urine. So she's been at the vets for nearly a week. Um, she's been on a drip to, to put the fluid back in her body because she was very dehydrated. Um, she's uh, been treated for her liver and her kidneys, which are now absolutely fine. Um, but obviously the biggest challenge we now have is, is if she'll ever be able to walk again. Uh, she's on very, very strong painkillers and also very strong anti-inflammatories because really this is the only thing, the anti-inflammatories, that are actually going to take the swelling down and enable her to walk again. We only have so long to be able to do this because also her muscles are starting to waste, which means eventually, if we can't get her up on her feet on her feet soon, she will not be able to because of the, mus the muscle wastage. So really, we're doing everything we can for her here, and um, everything that we feed her, we're feeding her every two hours, and it has to have water in it. So she's having watermelon, grapes. Um, mashed potatoes with oat milk and baby food, but again, very, very watery. So we're getting the fluid into her. And really, all we can do now is just hope that we can pull her through it. So thank you very much for everybody out there, and everybody that prayed for her, her to get better. We're also praying to here at Easy Horse Care Rescue Centre. So we'll give you a further update in a few days' time.